Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group, hanging out here with Zach Briggs, Geek Group member. And uh, we're continuing our equipment autopsy series on decommissioning Project Kevin. So this video, we're going to take the big arm off. So our goal is we're going to lock these in place. We're going to sling this. We're going to take out the last of the bolts on the bottom, which we couldn't get to before because it was all folded up. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to hoist this arm off. Now down the middle of this arm are concentric shafts mm -hmm. because there were originally three motors back here that move axis four, five, and six. So there were like three big motors in a triangle and they moved these pulleys here. Now we took all but this last pulley off and we don't know the arrangement down the inside. So this is like total black box engineering. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is we'll wedge that, bring it down, sling this, and take it off. That's the plan. And if we do this right, when we're done, this will end up totally disconnected from the robot and we'll probably have some shafts inside it that could slide around because we've taken the locking rings off on the end. So we don't know okay. really how this is going to happen. It, it might be that when we disconnect it, they're just going to slide out the end or something. So be aware of that. Mm -hmm. We do have a hazard there. So that's locked. Now we'll bring this down. Nice and close. And I'm going to take this from being connected on the end. Here, hold that a second. Pop that off. Get up here where the work is. Now, to sling this, I'm going to double the sling over the pipe and send that one up that way. And I need the next one, please. Thank you, sir. I'm going to double this sling over the pipe and just lay them there. Now, we apply a half twist, and that'll give us a good latch on there. So we'll start with this one by taking it up here and give it a spin and loop it around like that. And then we go this one the other way. Okay. Uh, if you would please slide those up towards the end. I'll do these here. That's on. And that's on. We're going to put these right here, in between trapped them. in between those yeah. two. Okay. And we give it a little bit of elevation. Clear. Cool. Cool. And the block moved out of the way when we went up. So make sure your little block's out of there. These are snug. Are you cool? Block is jammed in place. Hang on. Cool. Leave it there. Leave it there. Okay. There's just a little bit of slack in these, but now I've wedged the block in place really good. Mm -hmm. So we've got a little bit of slack in these, but it's enough. It's enough that, we, that we're not putting any tension on the bolt, and we can get that off. Okay. So next step is we need, and I probably dropped it out of the way at some point. Let's look up here. I need the Allen wrench that fits these bolts. So hand me that one. That is too big. Too big. It will be the same size as the socket in the wrench. <laughs> it's that one right there. Are you sure? I think so. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be the one I dropped in the middle of the device here. Let me try. You know, it's always the one you drop. It frequently is. No, nope, that's the one we need. So we're cool. I've got All this. Right. Now what I'm going to do is climb up on top because I've got a lot of moving bits here. Mm -hmm. And no, we can do this from below. Can we? Yeah, I did all the ones on top earlier. So we've got some pinch points. You, what you don't want to do is reach through the sides here mm -hmm. because if something fails, these can collapse together. Okay. So we're going to want to do this from out here. All right. But, uh, you want to take apart that piece of the shaft as opposed to the top? Well, we can't get to that. We're going to take apart these bolts here. Okay. And we're going to take apart these bolts out here. There's only two here, and if we get these two off, I think the arm will go. Okay. So come here with your muscles. That is fully engaged. See if you can turn that just to snap it loose. Because if you can loosen that, we're set. But you got to break it free first. And if you can't, we got to get a lever. Oh, you got it. Cool. All right. Can you pop the other one? Probably from the other direction. All right. Go around the other side. Okay, ready? Hang on. You're on. You're good. Pop it. Get my hand out of the pinch point. Try not to hit the thing. Oh, I'll probably sock it, but you know. <laughs> now I'm afraid I'm going to hurt you, man. Get no, I'm not me. worried about me. I just don't want to let you hit your hand too hard. 
<clears throat> Ain't gonna happen. All right, then uh, we need Breaker bar. a lever. I happen to have a small lever. Let's see if the little lever will do it, because sometimes you just need a little bit. All right. Oh, can't go that way. Awkward. Yeah, it, it ain't easy. Go all the way down to bottom. There you go. Oh, you're moving it. Am I? Yeah, go all the way down to the bottom. You're almost there. There you go. Thank you, sir. Ah, got it? Yep. All right, now. Yeah, that did it. Hopefully, didn't shear it off. No, it's fine. Now, these Allen wrenches have. Here, we'll get a close up. Where's my cameraman? These Allen wrenches have a, uh, the end of it has a little ball ground into it. And what that lets you do is you can engage bolts at an odd angle. Here, I'll see if that bolt fits it. Instead of going straight into the bolt, you can actually get down to an angle about like that. And that's the, uh, the advantage of the ball end Allen wrenches. They're quite lovely. So that's finger tight. You're rocking out the other one? Yep. Okay. At this point, our arm should be disconnected. Now, it's not just going to come apart, most likely. We're going to have to do a little hammer chisel mojo to pop the rust there you go. on it. Okay, you ready? Here, hold those a second, please. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> oh, this is why we make the big money. There you go. That's... <laughs> oh yeah. You know people die doing stuff like this every day. Dude, I used to climb wireless towers. Every day. <laughs> hey, I just want you to know that if you do die, I'm going to submit it to Darwin for you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm getting daylight. Um, I gotta. You got a spot I can't for really it? get in a good spot to do this. Oh yeah. Now, this probably won't make any impact at all. But just humor me. Mm -hmm. Take these bolts out back here. It's the same size. There's one here. Kay. There'll be two on the bottom. And you can get to them. Grab the, uh, the ratchet wrench over here. Okay. I am setting a hammer here, just All so right. you know. Okay. I've got the chisel under me, so I can't fall. Let me see that wrench. Right I might be able to get that one from the rear. Oh, shit. Well, that's a great wrench, but I can't fit the wrench in there because I'm the back is too close. Okay. But I can fit the socket in, turn socket back on. Here, thank you. Ah. Do 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 do. Are you doing climbing? Big handle up here to grab onto for climbing. On. I'm short. What? Uh, I have an appreciation for that, man. Appreciation for your short? I'll develop an appreciation for your short when I de develop an appreciation for, you know, my anorexic build. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have enough German in your background, man. Belgian. Really? Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I can't break that loose, man. Good. <laughs> oh, here, I don't want to drop that on your head. One of us is going to kiss that yes. hammer. <laughs> I can just see it coming. 